episode, and this episode is the Texture Pack giveaway. That is right, guys. You done it. Hey guys and welcome to another episode. In this episode is the Texture Pack giveaway. That is right guys, you done it. You got me 850 subscribers which is amazing. I cannot thank you all enough. And I know it's not like the milestone of them all, like that's 1k for me. But this is where I give back to you. So a lot of you in my videos have been asking what Texture Pack I'm using. And this is the answer for you. This is my custom Texture Pack giveaway. Or... Not custom, but yeah, it's it's custom but non-custom in a way. Like it's not like all designed by me, but it's my touch pack. I implemented stuff in it. Yeah, well, so on, so on. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for fifty sub, uh, fifty subs, eight hundred and fifty subs. Uh, but I made this awesome looking sign for you guys. I'm on the hub.hatescraft.com server. If you know that server, you are a true loyal fan. Uh, because I don't know series on there so go and be checked out if you don't uh, but I made the 850 sign uh, sorry for the 8 being looking weird uh, but that's just to say thank you and just to say yeah but I love the design of that it does look pretty sick uh, I made it myself but guys yous are all interested in this pretty much so I'm gonna give you a little quick tour of what yous are gonna expect in this video so guys do not leave this video or you will be missing out uh, just Pay attention, I guess. Uh, just get a drink. And just pay attention. It won't be that long, or I'll try not be that long. Maybe uh, eight, ten minutes, something like that. Not that long, uh, but be sure to stay because I'll be describing everything. So first of all, we'll start off with the armor. I uh, mostly wanted to uh, really just work on the diamond armor because that is the main armor. Not a lot of people use this unless on this other armor, unless you're in like Hunger Games or something. But I don't do Hunger Games a lot. I'm not a big fan of it, so I never really cared about it. I'm sorry if you do care about like all this other armor. Uh, but maybe in version two. So tell me in the comments below if you do want me to work on this armor. But for no, the moment of time, I've just worked on the diamond armor. So I got this diamond armor which looks really nice, it's not that kind of clean, really clean cartoony armour, it's kind of got that, uh, like it's been crushed up but then pulled a pack apart so you can use it again, because it, I like that, it just adds a detail and it looks like the diamonds have actually been crushed to actually make it, that's why I like this, uh, but when you actually apply it on your body, then it goes that kind of smooth. I did try and find another one that looked like the crush, but it never wanted to work. So that's it there. The only problem I have with it is that white bit there that's covering up my eye, but you don't really see that, so don't worry about that. Uh, let me go back to this view, uh, F1. But that's the armor. I do really like it just because it's a bit different. I've never really seen it before. And the iron armor and gold armor and everything like that, it's just the same. Uh, the sword. The sword is a main big part of this touch pack believe it or not. This sword is really awesome, I do like it. Uh, I found it on Hammond 1998 uh, texture pack. I don't know where he got it from but I just took it from him so thank you for showing me this. Uh, this sword is really good uh, as it, as you can see it's kind of got like the two lights go up and down it. That's really nice, I do like that. I do also like the pink uh, handle part. I guess, and guys, this is the default sword, believe it or not, it's just been modified quite a bit, but this sword is the best sword to PvP with, a lot of people will say, people that are good with PvP, will say the default sword is the best one to PvP with, uh, a lot of people have told me that as well, so I'm just taking it off them, and also, this sword has helped me out in PvP, also myself, believe it or not, I am a... I'm not the worst PvP of all, I, I can get a few kills of P4 and everything like that, but I'm not, like, entirely the best. Uh, so that's the sword, which is really good. I do like it, uh, so we'll just shove that in there. We then have all the other swords and such, so all the swords are just the same design. Uh, they are, like, full with sc uh, all your screen, pretty much. Uh, but I don't really care about them, like I said, I only cared about the diamonds. So then we go into the bow, the bow is really nice, I took this off my friend's texture pack. Uh, so as it see, as you can see, it's like a purpley blue before, then when you go back, it changes colour for your power. So as you can see on that, I find that really awesome. Quite a lot of bows have that, but I've never really seen uh, that design before. So pretty much reds, weak, yellows uh, in the middle, and greens full power. So that's yellow, and this is green, and that's red. So you can tell the different uh, levels, which is really good. So it uh, gives you an indicator, pretty much. 
Uh, so that's the bow, I do really like that, and I also like how it's kind of got that silver, and I also like the purple involved in it. So then we go into the enchanted books, not the glass, uh, the enchanted books. I did try and find really nice looking uh, enchanted books, but I never found one, any unfortunately, that I really liked. Uh, I think it's Benny Blues that has probably the best ones I've seen so far, but I never really uh, took them. I wanted something different. Uh, but these, are, it's just a normal enchanted books, so hopefully in like the version 2 of this text pack we will uh, find better books. So on to the apples now, the apples are a big bit of this uh, text pack as well. I wanted nice HD apples and as you can see this apple has all the textures you really need in an apple. And it's also nice and smooth and HD. So I do really like them, that's just the apple itself, the non-OP god apple and the god apple. The god apple, like in this, is because of the enchant that goes through it, it's kind of reflect, re reflects nice on this uh, apple. And also the green stem at the top, I really do like that part. I've never really seen that before, to be honest with you, so that's why I chose them as well. I added a different stake as well, so when you're playing prison, because this is a PvP prison uh, texture pack, so I wanted to involve prison because of my channel and everything like that. Uh, but the stake has like bit, it's embeveled and everything like that, so I really do like that. Uh, so when you're on a prison server, that's what you mostly get. The diamond tools are just what they normally are. Uh, but these ones are really nice in HD, I do like these, the grip of the handle is really nice and also the top bit how it's got the, the kind of diamond there, I do like that. The axe is pink, uh, just because I guess the creator wanted to do that, I took that off It's Hoff, if you don't remember It's Hoff, he does Twitch, I will possibly link his uh, Twitch in the description if I remember, uh, but he linked me this texture pack. Uh, with these tools which I really do like. And I like how it's like the pink. Uh, of it, it's kind of different, and also the spade, and the spade has the diamond as well, so it does the axe, but it's a, like a pink, it's like a ruby, to be honest with you, uh, but Minecraft don't do ruby, but they are in the text pack. Uh, the hole is just, uh, just a normal hole really, I haven't really do it, done it because nobody really cares about a hole really, uh, but that is the hole. Uh, this text pack is actually going to go on longer than what I think, so just stay tuned. The this is pretty much the main thing on like the normal items. It's always just the same pickaxes and tools. It's just the different uh, kinds. This now we're going on to the animation things. So I got this off XX Supreme XX uh, texture pack, and um, look at that. You can see the animations in that lava bucket. Uh, of the lava moving. That's really cool. I do like that. It's completely different. So that is really rare as well. The water, you can see it dripping in your inventory as well. So that's really nice. And also the water moving. You also have the slime ball. So uh, when you go in here, you can see it drip. So I really do like that. And the blaze powder looks so awesome. Look at that blaze powder. Even in this, in the item frames, it's really nice. And do like that. So thank you, XX, for putting that in your text pack. Uh, going on to like some mask items here. Uh, the Ender Pearl. Everybody knows what the Ender Pearl's like. Uh, it just teleports you somewhere. But I really do like this. I got this off. Uh, I forgot what the text pack name was. But uh, XX Stormseeker XX linked me his uh, text pack, and I took it off there. So thank you, XX Storm. For that, the beacon I really do like. That's off the it's off uh, text pack that I used. I, the gradients in it and the HD of it I really do like. That's why I use this. Uh, going on to the Nether Star now. The Nether Star is really different uh, to any other Nether Star I've seen. I've never really seen this before, uh, so I wanted to kind of be different. And also the XP bottles. The XP bottles look so sick. It's uh, it's unbelievable. Uh, and also uh, just the design of it looks really good. That's why I picked them. Now we go on to like the fire and stuff. This is the most main part of this text pack, guys. So if the I got the flint and steel thing. I got this before XX Supreme, but he released it so uh, before me. So pretty much yeah. But this fire is uh, the fire is the probably like a main part in this. Unfortunately, you can't do it, but you can see it's rainbow. So that is really good. It's rare. It took me a hard time to find it, but. Uh, let's just say uh, the lady flavor got for me. Thank you very much, the lady. Uh, it does I really do appreciate it. So there's your shout you, that you wanted. <laughs> so the fire is a really main part in this text pack. That it does look sick uh, when you get caught by it as well. I don't think I can get caught by it because I'm in creative, uh, but it really does look sick. And uh, just go and check out my videos. 
uh, or maybe the first faction episode it's there. It does look really good. Pumpkins I made look different, uh, so the pumpkins have a nice HD texture through it with the leaf on the top. So when you're like on a faction server and you're mining pumpkins to go and sell, I really do like that. And also the golden nugget, the golden nugget has that kind of uh, bevel theme as well, I really do like that and it's also HD so it's a really nice one. Uh, going on to the blocks here, this is just like the wooden, this is the main items and I really changed a lot of the items, most of the items are like the blocks I should say, most of the blocks are faithfuls so I'm sorry I never got around to that really, I just wanted to try and get the like the main stuff. Uh, so that is the Jack Lantern, Jack Lantern looks pretty cool, that's a HD one as well with an awesome looking uh, glowy face in it and the uh, beacon again uh, so that's really nice and then the wood's just the same going on to the mining ores now uh, the blocks are really nice nice and HD uh, like what uh, you see in my videos so that's why that's this is why I done prison as well because the blocks uh, unfortunately I never found a good coal block uh, but that is the blocks there for it so they're really nice and HD uh, really to see, uh, really good to see in the mines on prison also, the ores are a big part of this uh, text pack as well. The ores are really nice and HD and all have that awesome look through it. Uh, so I really do like that. This is also, and I forgot where I found these, but these are really nice. And that's them there, which look really good. It just looks like that kind of, the HD in it, because uh, it looks like it's actually implanted right in the stone. So that's really nice looking. I do like that. Uh, the... Uh, the ingots and ores and stuff are really HD, I would say. Uh, the emerald is beveled a little bit, as you can see there. The diamond's definitely beveled. It's completely different. The golden ingots, uh, more HD and has a bit more shine to it. Same with the iron ingot. Uh, the dust, the redstone has a really, uh, it really looks like redstone if you can find it in real life, but I don't know if you can. I'm going to guess not, or maybe something like it, but it really does look nice. Lapis is just original, I never found a good lapis that I liked. Uh, Nether Wart is a little bit different, a bit more HD, but you can't really tell. Uh, and the coal block you can see there is a bit more HD than what it normally is. So, with them out of the way, that's the mining. We then have our water, so this is water just uh, casually. So you can still see it has a flow through it, but when it's flowing like this, it's uh, like a rapid flow, which I really do like, and it's also clear when you're like in the sea. This is the lava. I do like the lava because it's like a kind of cartoon beveled theme to it. And that's it. Uh, stall, or non-flowing. It's still moving, as you can see, and this is just like rapid flowing as well. Uh, going on to the pots, the pots are really nice. I do like the pots uh, just because of the like bottles and everything like that. And I'll show you the particle effects. The particle effects do look pretty awesome, as you can see here. Uh, these are off the Storm Seekers Tetris pack that I got. It's not his, it's just that. And also, like the particles when you hit the ground, it's really good. And also, I like the bottles because it's like the golden bit. I really do like that. So that is the potions as you can see there. And also you have like the ingredients, like the pot ingredients, which are really awesome. I did change uh, all of them except out the glitter melon because I don't I can't find that in the thing way. And also you've got that blaze blaze powder again, which you've already seen. So the nail water is really nice, as you can see there. It's different to the normal one. The glowstone is really glowed up and is the dust. The gunpowder is really good. Uh, the fermented spider eye is uh, like that HD, look at the HD and the texture that's went into that, I find that really nice. Uh, the magma cream is does look like a kind of creamy uh, colour if you know what I mean, like a creamy texture. I really do like that and like I said the glitter melon is just the exact same because I couldn't find a different one. Uh, the bookshelves are changed and so is the bedrocks for the like prison and stuff for the bedrock. And the bookshelves are a nice HD uh, Nice HD bookshelves, so I really do like them. So that is mostly what I've changed in the texture pack. As you can see there, a few more items that I've changed. But uh, guys, hopefully you did enjoy this texture pack. Uh, it's got really nice stuff in it, such as the fire, the potions, the animating items and everything like that. So guys, thanks for watching and thank you for supporting my channel. I really do appreciate it and hopefully you do use this texture pack. Download link is in the description below 
if it, if anything happens to it or to my touch pack, please inform me uh, any way you can contact me uh, either by my email or my YouTube comments or anything like that or in game. Just please tell me in case anything goes wrong. So thanks guys for watching and that 850 subscribers loving. Thank you guys and I'll see you in the next episode.